Merry Christmas! It is another episode of A Girl, A Drink, and A Game, Christmas Edition. We are taking a quick sneak peek at Christmasopoly. I snagged this up a couple years ago at like Walgreens or something. I don't know, it was one of those really random purchases that I was just like, ah, I need that game. And so now it is a Christmas tradition that I have to break it out every year for Christmas. So, check that out. Isn't it awesome? That is the game today, and the drink, we just, well, mostly my husband, um, pulled together this lovely concoction, bullet for my hot chocolate, hopefully you get that band reference right there, it contains white hot cocoa mix, vanilla, Mexican cinnamon, or sorry, Mexican vanilla, cinnamon, uh, bullet bourbon and peppermint liqueur. So we're going to give that a shot. It is another warm drink for this really freezing cold day. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I hit 20 subscribers, so I'm super excited. So, um, keep them coming. Next goal, 25. I don't know what I'll do when I reach it, but I'll be super excited. So, you know, that's me. So let's put that there and let's give this a shot. It's nice and toasty. Mmm, it smells, it smells really good. It smells, you can definitely smell the peppermint and the cinnamon and the vanilla, which Mexican vanilla is kind of cinnamony. Um, it's super good. Okay, let's try it. That is good. Full strong. Definitely a good hit of peppermint. Um, that is really freaking good, man. That is delicious. We just kind of like concocted this one. Um, we were looking at a couple of recipes, um, but didn't really have any of the ingredients for any of them. Um, well, we had like a couple ingredients from like each one. And so then he just kind of winged it and went with it. I was like, I told him I wanted to do the peppermint. That part was my idea, but I figured it was fitting for, um, for our Christmas video. So, let's get to it. So, for the most part, this Christmasopoly is very Monopoly-like. Um, the rules aren't really any different. Uh, we'll go around the board. I'll show you a couple things. The money is, uh, just regular money. Looks a little different, but pretty much the same ones, you know, fives, the whole shebang. Um, you've got your property cards and I'll tell you about all the properties here in a bit. Very similar. Um, again, tokens are all your traditional game piece tokens. We've got, um, they're all kind of a muted, like they kind of have like a wooden look. They're not wooden, but they have that kind of look of a wooden token. You've got like a mustard yellow. You've got a red, kind of an orange-ish. We've got blue and we've got green and uh, brownish. I don't know what you would call that. It has like kind of a red tint to it, but uh, so those are your tokens. You've got two standard dice. Um, you have toy shops and, or toy store stores, sorry, toy stores, which are your houses and Santa's workshops are your hotels. So again, Super traditional Monopoly. I think there's like one change of rules, um, but that's about it. You, let's see, where is the start? Here's the start. So we'll go through that. You've got collect 200 as you pass. Ho, ho, ho. Um, then you have your um, lump of coal and your fruitcake for the first uh, two properties. In between there, you have holiday cheer, which is your like, Community Chess and Chance is Holiday Cheer and Bah Humbug. We'll go through a couple of those cards before we're done. Then your railroad tracks are the Reindeer. So you have Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen, Kave and Cupid, and Donner and Blitzen. Those are your railroad track. Um, here is the board right there for you. Cute little reindeer in front of the moon with Santa across the top. Very adorable Christmas lights. Gotta love them. Um, then the next set of properties, sugar plums, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. 
your jail is um, the naughty space and just visiting is just being nice. So that's kind of a cute little play on that. Drink break. I always forget to drink my drink. Mm -mm -mm. That's so good. Uh, we've got poinsettias, Christmas ornament, holly, mistletoe. Um, the Christmas ornament is the um, the utilities. That's what that replaces. Um, then you have your prancer and vixen, like I said. And then you go into the greens. We've got sleigh ride, um, caroling, Christmas shopping. And then you hit the North Pole. Now, this is the one rule right here that is different than normal Monopoly. This is essentially your free space. And while many people play this rule in Monopoly, it is against the rules of Monopoly. But in this game, every time you have to pay something, like your uh, chance, community chests, or taxes, things like that, uh, it goes in the middle of the board. When you land on North Pole, you get to collect that. That is an official rule of the Christmasopoly which is a typical house rule in Monopoly, but not an official one. So that is the only real change of rules on that one. So anytime you have to pay something other than the rent goes in the center. And it does say right here, it says, um, oh, it's just the, the production thing. Never mind. Forget that. I thought it said something clever, but I was wrong. So then we have our wreaths, the Bah Humbug spot, which is for the cards. Uh, garland, tinsel, they're all kind of themed, which is cute in the groups for the most part. Um, then our purples, our icicles, snow, and a Christmas tree. Then you have the Christmas lights as the other utility there. Then you have go directly to naughty, and it's got the naughty and nice list on it with the naughty checked. So that sends you to jail, basically. Then we have a bowl full of jelly, a sleigh full of toys, and the night before Christmas right there. And then our very last two properties. Oh, not last. Yep. Yeah, 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 last two. <laughs> the colors threw me off because the last two are always that dark blue and these are purple, but that's okay. Um, Santa Claus and Joy. And then you have your Scrooge tax is your pay taxes. So... Again, very traditional, just with different obvious Christmas themes. So that's cute. Um, there's all your property cards. Um, it does say little facts on some of them, which is cute. So like the Christmas shopping card, it says in 2001, oh wait, in the weeks leading to Christmas, some retailers make up to 70% of their annual revenue. In 2001, Black Friday became the biggest shopping day of the year. Before 2001, the Saturday before Christmas held the title. So they all have something little neat on it. So it's like Christmas fun fact. Ho, 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 hold on. About $2.6 billion will be spent worldwide on wrapping paper this year. There is something quite trivial about wrapping paper. It is expensive, wasteful, and impractical. That said, wrapping paper can also be awesome. For better or worse, there's just something about a shiny package with a big red bow. So that's cute. So all of them have little tidbits, you know, give you a little knowledge. I like to learn when I play, so that's always fun. And then we have the Bah Humbugs and the Holiday Cheers. So we'll take a peek at just a few of those. We have Bah Humbug. Put Christmas lights on all your property. Pay $25 for every toy store owned and $100 for each Santa's workshop. So that's very similar to a classic card in regular Monopoly. We also broke out the Nightmare Before Christmas mug. We thought that was quite fitting. Um, another one is Lose One Turn to Make the Cookies. I was going to have Christmas cookies. Um... You could have been better. Now go to Naughty. Do not pass. Ho, ho, ho. Do not collect $200. This one is Dash Away All. Advance to Comet and Cupid. So very similar cards to regular, but again, different words. Mixes up the theme. Um, here's the holiday cheer ones. We've got What Do You Want for Christmas? Advance to the space of your choice. That's a pretty good one. You could 
That could, that could be a really good one. You could land on North Pole and get all the money in the middle, or you can land on that last property you're trying to get. That's a really good card. I don't think regular Monopoly has a card like that, so that's kind of cool. Um, we've got Holiday Cheer Gift Certificate. Collect $100. Uh, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, but now you're stuck. Lose two turns. So that's not quite Holiday Cheer, but it is the card. Um, you've been naughty. Go directly to naughty. Uh, do not pass. So, ho, ho, do not collect 200. So, another one of those. Uh, it's your big night in the Christmas choir. Collect $20 from each player for tickets. So, kind of cute little things. Um, you have sugar plums dancing in your head. Advance to sugar plums. Just cute little Christmassy themed things in here. So, not a whole lot different. As I said, it's your basic Monopoly, but with a Christmas twist. It's great to break out around the holidays. I hope you are all enjoying the holidays and staying warm. Uh, I don't know about wherever all of you are at, but uh, it's been a frigid negative degrees the last couple of days. The coldest days of the year, I'm sure. I think we had a feel like the wind chill was around like negative 35 the other day. Um, and, like actual temps were hitting like negative two. Today it was a little warmer. I think we got all the way up to 13 degrees. So, woo, we're warming up. But, uh, yeah, it's cold. It's real cold. And we do, we will have a white Christmas. There's snow on the ground, and it will not be melting by tomorrow. So, there will definitely be a white Christmas. Um, I'm excited for Santa to come and uh, not bring me anything because I'm an adult and I don't get presents anymore. But, you know, oh well. But, hopefully all the kids everywhere will be spoiled by Santa Claus. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll get another tasty drink in my stocking or something. Guys, this is really seriously delicious. Again, if you want to make this, here's the recipe. You've got the white hot cocoa mix, vanilla, cinnamon, bullet bourbon, and peppermint liqueur. Super good super super good and it's warm and toasty and just this is a really good Christmas drink like I didn't know what to expect from this and it's just fantabulous all right guys that's all I got I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and as always cheers